No more teaser trailers. We got the full length official trailer for Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, and I am super excited for this. Matter of fact, why don't you drop a like on this video right now for Beetlejuice because he's the ghost with the most. All right, here we go. Let's get this earbud in. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, let's go. Here's a preview. Be warned, it's intense. I can't believe Grandpa's dead. I knew Death it! Life is hard. I knew it. Yeah, sometimes I think life is harder. Call them. When I was a teenager, a trickster demon terrorized our entire family. He's got a work He tried to force me to marry him. I believed he was gone forever until you found this in the attic. No. Who's Beetlejuice? <laughs> Don't ever say that name. Beetlejuice. No, Alfred, I am serious. If you say his name three times, he will appear. Beetlejuice. The juice is loose. I am going to make you so happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The living. Ooh. The dead. Ooh. Can they coexist? Mm -hmm. That's what we're here to find out. Where is Beetlejuice? Where's Beetlejuice? <laughs> Ooh, sandworms. They're nice. Beetlejuice. <laughs> Feel free to express yourself. Don't be afraid. You're a figment of my imagination. Really? Is this a figment of your imagination? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's great. I love it. I love it. I can't wait. Now, clearly there's a whole different feel to this. I mean, I don't want to say it's a different feel, but it's, it still feels like Beetlejuice. Uh, but obviously I'm not expecting a sequel to be as good as the original. I just want to have fun with it. And I think this is going to be fun. It does still have that Tim Burton, old school Beetlejuice vibe to it. That being said, it's going to be a great movie. Um, but I want to reiterate it. I don't expect it to be as good as the original. But there are some things to pay attention to in this trailer. And one of which is the fact that Beetlejuice was sitting at a work desk and there was a plaque that said Afterlife Manager. So does he actually have a job there? I mean, is he supposedly working in the afterlife? I mean, last we saw he's sitting in the waiting room with his head shrunk. So... I don't know if that's going to be explained. And then we got the one guy, Bob, the head shrunken dude. Uh, can he transform? I'm not sure if he can transform because he looked like Beetlejuice with the shrunken head where William Defoe's character was uh, interrogating him, looking for Beetlejuice. Looked like Beetlejuice, but wasn't Beetlejuice. But then the next scene was like he was holding up this piece of paper and Beetlejuice's eyes like bugged out of his head, kind of like a Roger Rabbit cartoon. So, I mean, there was that. But then I also want to take a look at the new characters. We got Monica Belushi, who is supposedly playing his wife, or ex-wife, or however you want to word it. But, I mean, she kind of gives off this, like, Bride of Frankenstein vibe with all the stitches around her face. So, that's pretty cool. Now to think about it, it's more of a cross between Bride of Frankenstein and, like, Morticia Adams. Something like that. I mean, I've, I've, that's the vibe I'm getting from her. But did you notice that Danny DeVito was in the trailer? I mean, it's a split second. If you blinked, you missed it. But he actually looks like he's a janitor or something. Like he's trying to wax the floor when he gets electrocuted. So I don't know if he's just going to have a cameo or if he might play a, a larger role. But either way, I saw Danny DeVito in the trailer. They just didn't mention him in any of the credits. Then William Defoe is playing the afterlife, uh, I guess, police. 
So he's looking for Beetlejuice, who's obviously out causing mayhem. And uh, I just think it looks fun. It looks like a great movie. I'm super excited for it. Winona Ryder just falls right back into the role along with Michael Keaton. They just don't look like they even missed a beat. It's like, did we, did we filmed the original yesterday. Here's the sequel. That's how easily they seem to fit back into the roles. Jenna Ortega, I mean, I think she's going to be a natural here. She has a great talent for adjusting to her surroundings and the role that she needs to play. And I think she's going to fit this role perfectly. And I'm super excited to see her as Astrid and everything that's going I mean, I don't know. I'm just so excited for this movie. I want to know what your thoughts are. Obviously, is this something you're excited for? I know it's not going to be the original, but I do like the vibes they gave it. It really does feel like the original. You got the music going and the sandworm and all that stuff looks just like the original. So that's what Michael Keaton wanted. He said if he's coming back for a sequel, it has to be the same feel as the original. And I think it matches that perfectly. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you with the concession stands.